Our success in the last five or six games has been because we've started and maintained the intensity of that Hawaii game. Okay, it started with USF and we've maintained a certain intensity level. And I think that this is, this is of, of all the things that we can control, this has to be the one that has to show up every night. Blocking off is critical, getting the ball is more critical. Going after that thing two hands aggressively and having that kind of intensity to go get it. Who takes that charge, who runs the floor, that's what we need out of one of your five starters. This is a war, we're here, who's gonna make that play? The Cal Poly men's basketball team started the new year at home against rival UC Santa Barbara. The last time these two teams met, Cal Poly ousted the Gauchos in the Big West Tournament. Now the rivalry game had big implications for both sides as the Mustangs were looking to prove they belonged with the Big West elite and UC Santa Barbara was looking to potentially get revenge against Cal Poly. Our good defensive position is why we're ahead right now. Okay, we're holding them to 20 points is outstanding. Let's not leave it out here. Let's not go half an X here by, 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 by not bringing the energy on our home opener against our rival. Much better job moving the ball on the offensive end. Attack right here, right here, right here, right here. Now it's attack, tap, tap. Now it's more aggressive. After a tight first half, things seemed to be looking up for the Mustangs, who at one point pushed their largest lead to 10 points. But things started to unravel for Cal Poly late in the game. The Mustangs managed to shoot just 21% from the field, while going 1 for 10 from beyond the three-point arc. The sellout crowd saw the Mustangs drop a close game to their bitter rival in the Gauchos. It's one game. It's not going to define the entire season. Uh, yeah, it hurts really bad right now, but um, well, take 24 hours, 48 hours, probably till the next time we play them, to be honest with you. Learn from it and just get better tomorrow, the next day, and follow it. Cal Poly head coach Joe Calero has arguably been the emotional leader for the program this season. The six-year head coach has had to manage the expectations that come with being Big West champions while bridging the gap lost from well-established leaders such as Chris Eversley and Jamal Johnson. Players do step up, but this Washington native has been a figurehead for the program, moving around his busy schedule however he can. Usually I take the stairs to stay in shape. <laughs> I think the biggest thing is that every year you do have to work as a head coach to recreate. Um, you know, you have to you have to help develop leadership, and you know the different types of leadership. There's there's those intellectual leaders that kind of remember all the plays and all the all the details about things. And regardless if we're playing Santa Barbara or the or the New York Knicks, um, we we've got to play. We got to we got to play better as a team we got to be just more more consistent and not have um, not have those droughts in there after losing three of their past four conference games to Santa Barbara Long Beach State and Northridge Cal Poly faced the UC Riverside Highlanders at Maud Athletic Center after a neck-and-neck -neck first half the Mustangs pulled away with 11 unanswered points in the second half the Cal Poly bench outscored the Highlanders bench 26-4 as senior Reese Morgan, who had 14 points on the night, led the Mustangs in a second half route that saw Cal Poly outscore the Highlanders by 19 points. The Mustangs would win handily. After a loss at UC Irvine and then an overtime loss at UC Davis, Cal Poly looked to rebound against Hawaii at home. Cal Poly beat Hawaii on the road earlier in the season, and the Warriors made for a tough opponent at Mott Athletic Center. 
After a contentious first half, which saw the Mustangs go into the locker room up by two, no team would lead by more than four points for the entire second half. Unfortunately, Cal Poly came up short down the stretch, shooting just 27% from the field on its way to a three-point loss. There's a lot of those games that a couple of possessions here or there, and we come out on top and get a, we got a different record and a different outlook. So I think that we just got to learn how to finish a little better um, as a team. Coming off a four-point defeat at UC Riverside, Cal Poly hosted Irvine in the second-to-last home game of the season. The Mustangs were looking to move to 500 in Big West play, while Irvine was playing for the conference title. Both teams had plenty to prove, and Ridge Shipley came out firing for Cal Poly. The sophomore finished with 20 points on the night, while Brian Bennett chipped in 12 rebounds, but Irvine proved too much for Cal Poly, as the Mustangs could not escape a 10-point first-half deficit. The loss was the Mustangs' seventh single-digit conference defeat of the season. If we can play with anyone in the Big West, then I don't think a single game is going to change that. I think our team has a lot of confidence. After a win or a loss, that we're just going to come back and, and play any team, any team that wants to get on the court with us, we can win. In an identical seeding position as last year, Cal Poly enters the Big West tournament yet again as an underdog, set to face UC Santa Barbara in the first round. So I think the biggest thing that we're, we're looking at is having that total team concentration. The things that we can control are our concentration and our communication. You know, we're going to miss some shots. They're going to miss some shots. What we don't want to do is have um, breakdowns where we're not, we're really not communicating well, and we're not in that position where we're, you know, making a mistake on defensive assignments or transition or what's going on this way and that way. And that's the frustrating part. Take care of the details that we won't have to uh, worry about motivation because it's, it really comes down to playing better basketball. The best, the team that plays the best is, and it's not the team that's motivated the best, it's the plays the best.